GCSE required practical number seven. This is investigating the relationship between force, mass and acceleration. We're going to use quite a complicated setup here where we're going to use a data logger and attach the two light gates, a trolley, some masses and then a set of balances and a bench pulley and various other little bits and pieces which we need to make this successful. So the first thing we need to do is find the mass of the trolley, which is 453 grams, and add it to the 600 grams we have here, which will also be accelerating during experiment. So that's 1053 grams. So we're now going to accelerate the trolley with 500 gram masses on top of it along the bench so that the interrupt card passes through the two light gates and we're going to use a 1 newton weight to do that acceleration. So we attach the 1 newton weight to the pulley on that side and then we'll just let, let this go, I'll release the blue tack and off we go. The next stage of the process is for me to take one of the 100 gram masses from the top of the trolley, add it to the other 100 gram mass here accelerating weight and attach that to the pulley like so. So now we've got two newtons as accelerating force but the overall mass of the system is exactly the same. Release the blue tack and allow the light gates to measure the acceleration using the, using the logger. And you can see what we've done is we've continued this process up to 6 newtons accelerating force and measured the acceleration from the data logger with each attempt. And you can see the masses are identical all the way throughout, but the acceleration is increasing as we increase the accelerating force.